Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trish at Creative Man's Creation. I'd like to thank you, like, thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing to my channel. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you another embellishment box where, um, that I'm trading or swapping with uh, Tiffany Russell. I think her channel is Nittany Crafts on YouTube. And um, I uh, was wanting to do a embellishment box swap um, cause at the time I wasn't really, um, thinking that I could do a, a, um, swap with making more than one box. So after I finished hers and I said, okay, I'm, I, I, I'm good with this embellishment box thing. So yeah. So I said, that's when I went ahead and, uh, joined, um, Mandy's, uh, um, embellishment box swap on, at Mandy's place on YouTube. So. This is the box that I've made for Tiffany. And this is the bigger box. Uh, we decided to use the big box. Uh, again, I got these from Dollar Tree. And that's everybody getting them. And first, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. First, um, the thing I'm going to show you is the shaker element in the middle. I, again, with this, I use the paper collection. Um, but I think it's DCWV. The perfect princess. I have two stacks. So this is not the stack I use. This is a little fuller. I didn't put it back. But this is the paper stack that I use. Uh, again, it's the perfect princess stack by DCWV. So I use that. And uh, there, I don't think there's a collection. So I had to get stuff that was um like the washi tape and the other stuff that's inside. You know that match it. And um, I asked her what her colors were, and she said pink and gold, black and gold, or just anything is uh, any color of gold. So I said, cool, pink and gold it is. So I that's what I did. So this is pink and gold. Okay, so on the front again, I did the shaker element, and I got this idea from uh, another YouTube crafter that did a shaker box. The only reason I remember her name is because I love the paper stack. It's got her her um, YouTube channel is Mariposa, um, like the. Uh, Mariposa stack for, again from DCWV and that's again that's the only reason why I remember her name where I got the, the shaker idea from so I did that on the front on the top rather I didn't do a lot of embellishment with it um again I'm just not really big on like really doing it like I did that other video with the flowers on the uh, box um so this is simple but yeah it's still pretty it's really pretty I mean I don't know if I can see this on camera um but this is really pretty um what you're seeing now, I don't think it does it justice. So, anyway, so I used some pink washi tape across here at the top and bottom. I used some, uh, um, bling, um, that I got from, uh, Michael's in gold. And I went all the way around the box, and because of this little thing, I had to cut that off. I had to cut a uh, row off, and then Go, continue to go all the way around the box. All the way around the edge. And that's the only thing I put on there. And then um, I was in another swap where somebody sent me some butterflies. And I'm like, oh my god, those butterflies go perfect with the, with the box. I mean, the pink and everything. But then it's like, oh crap. It's silver. So this gold part right here, this layered built butterfly with vellum and... Um, Myler paper, I guess, whatever. That right there. This part, all that gold right there, it was silver. So I just took a Sharpie <laughs> and I colored it silver. Covered it gold. I, well, now, it worked, now it matches. So yeah, so I did that with this butterfly and with that butterfly. I just colored that part that was silver with a Sharpie marker, made it go. So now it matches. And I got me some, um, I pulled up my, uh, because I want to personalize the box, so I pulled out some gold, um, vinyl, um, 365 Oracle, Oracle, what is it, vinyl? You all know what I'm talking about. But I used, I cut out some vinyl, I used the font on my computer, and I put her name on the box right there. And then at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it real good, but it says create something. And gold, also. And so that's the outside of the box. Now on the inside, we're gonna go with the lid first because again, this is a piece of paper. See, that's that silver I was talking about. See how that looks? I colored that on the um, top side with a 
gold Sharpie marker. Well, not gold gold, but it was like a bright yellow gold. So, um, I uh, cut the paper because, again, I didn't want that showing. The, the uh, It's not double-sided, so um, I didn't want the white paper showing there. So I um, took another piece of paper and I cut, you know, because of the little ridges right here to uh, cut off the sections right here. I um, cut the paper in strips. I had to do the same thing with the other side too, with the one that's, with this paper under there. And I took some uh, packing tape and I um, stuck it down all the way. And that's what I, um, before I, uh, oh, after I put the um, the shaker elements in there, and then I taped it down. The paper, this paper, I taped that paper down with the packing tape, and then I stuck this on top. And then, because the packet tape was showing a little bit, and I made sure that it didn't go past this uh, washi tape, um, I covered that with gold washi tape because I didn't want that tape showing on this side. So I put gold washi tape at top and bottom. And then to cover that up. You know, so I, I want the, the underside. I mean, nobody's going to see that when it's closed, but when you open up, I don't want that looking ugly. So... I dressed that up too. So now this is what's inside the box. Okay, now there were we didn't have any specific requirements or anything like that. We just made you know not a theme or anything. Um, so we, the only thing that we uh, was the major requirement is that we use the bigger box. Okay, so I do I got some of this pearl spray. I think it's like four or five of them here. Some pearl sprays. I put in there and this is some um, ribbon that uh, Martha Stewart ribbon or lace it's like a really long pretty piece so I put that in there she could probably cut it apart and use the whole width of it but that's that I'll tie it back up later well I'll go ahead and tie it up now I just wrapped it around twice I'm not pulling it tight so it'd be so hard to get that little knot out. But tie that and it goes there. And then I got a little bottle of mixed of uh glitters, chunky glitters. I made that mix. And my little glass bottles. I had to put that um that uh eye hook in there because um I could I I, I pushed it the cork all went in so they wouldn't come out and if you do a shipping they get all come out and get all over the place so I, and I couldn't get it out without tearing ripping it up so I had to put that in so it'd be easy to pull it out I probably still put a ribbon on there I gotta put some glue on there to make sure that it doesn't come out um but yeah so that's a some chunky glitter that I mixed up it's really pretty I gotta mix me up some of that the stars and diamonds and hearts and stuff and like that okay so here's some pearl um, bling. Uh, it's got adhesive back like the on gems. Some pink pearls. And then I've got some glass pink pearls um, that I put in there. I'm going to find some more. Some pink pearls that was in there. And again, um, like in my other video, I... Uh, tend to make embellishing boxes where not I don't there's not handmade embellishments that I've made it's just elements to make your own embellishments uh, here's another um this was sequence of a uh, mix of um you know a little bottle I'm not sure if I want to cover those or not but they look pretty pretty without anything on the bottle but that's that mix and then I'll put some mini uh, dominoes in here of course, so she can make her home out her own dominoes. And then here are some metal pieces. A couple of crowns, a key, a clock. Let me see this. And an airplane, another key. I'm going to put more stuff in that. I'm going to have to go through my stuff and put some more stuff in there. But that's going in. Those are metal pieces. Let's go in there. I can get that closed again. 
And here's some more bling. This is um, bling on a roll. It's like a pretty long place. I guess I go ahead and take this off. And it's like, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight rolls. And I got this from Walmart, I believe. It's like on a big roll. So I cut some of that. Back up at it there. Here's some more bleak. Let's put those in there. Those are gold. Yeah, I'll tie them back up later. Then I got some flowers. So they're my uh, fabric flowers. They're not really ribbon flowers, they're fabric flowers. So these I got a, lot, a whole lot of these. And then here's some uh, these are ribbon flowers. They're yellow, not gold. I don't have any gold flowers. But these are gold ribbon flowers. They got a little uh, pearl spray in the middle. So I put a couple of those in there. And then here's some uh, I think this is ribbon flowers. They're like an off-white color, but they still go because they kind of match the paper. So I put some of those in there. And then these I got in a swap. Um, and I uh, so I put a couple of those. I did it really sparkly, really pretty. So I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I kept some and I didn't have a many, but I decided to go ahead and put those in because they went so well with this swap. So that's really pretty. So I put those in there. And then I have some of my resin pieces that I made. And I did a video on how I painted my resin pieces. I think I did. I can't remember. I made so many videos. I can't remember. That. But these are the pieces that went out. The video where I showed when we was pouring resin pieces, these are the pieces that I was pouring or made. And I painted them um, gold spray painted with pink, I mean, gold spray paint, and then distressed it with white paint, make it look distressed. And then I painted this with uh, pink acrylic paint, and then I distressed it with gold paint. So those are pretty. And here are some other resin pieces that I um, did. I don't I didn't put all of these on um, camera but these are some that I, I made some more resin pieces that I made in the same day so it's a lot of bows and a little uh, cherub flower and uh, um, the feather I just don't think I've seen those I've seen them on the video and I want to show you the tiniest bows they're just too stinking cute um, I think I probably saw those bows, but let me get those out of the way. I want to show you these really tiny, tiny little bows. They are too cute. Look at the tiny, tiny little bow. Tiny. And I just used gold paint and I painted those. I just painted with a paintbrush. But those are so cute. Those turn out really cute. So those are my other pieces that I made. Oh, let me see if I can get these back in here. Ugh. Okay. All right. So, I keep putting this stuff over here. Okay. Now here is where I put in some die cuts. Okay. First, um, these are uh, little tags that I made. I put some pink um, baker's twine on there, and this is also paper from the collection. It's really pretty paper. It's all pink and some greens in there, and it's some uh, iridescent. Um, glitter elements in there but it still goes with the gold uh, so I made um, some of those I used uh, my um, here it is right here I used my uh, Sidzix die used this die I used to cut the tiny the smallest bow right here our tag and then I punched uh, some uh, butterflies um, this is um, a dye butterfly actually again from this dye some dyes that I've cut those butterflies I don't have I, well I have gold paper um, but it was too thick to cut with the dye um, but actually no that was with a punch uh, so here are some gold butterflies that I, I die cut now my punches this is some, some really thick uh, cardstock so it wouldn't, it wouldn't work with a punch 
So that's that. And then here is a little bag of uh, butterflies that I punched with my mouth. It still punches. And um, some of it is uh, linen um, cardstock. Uh, and it's also embossed. I got that in a swap. So I said, cool. I said, it's pink and it's embossed. So I can put some butterflies with it. And uh, some of the papers, uh, butterflies are also from the paper collection. And those, again, from Martha Stewart Crunches. So that's that. And I did make some embellishments. I made some rosettes. First, I made these two. This is a small one. Again, they all come from the same paper. I mean, all from particular, but it's the same paper, print paper. And I put some stickles around the edge of that one. I used some of the fabric flowers and a leaf. That's that one. And then this one, I used the ribbon flowers, put a little bling right there. And I used some uh, eyelash ribbon or thread or yarn or what you want to call it. And I put that there and the edge is punched. That. And then here's another one. And uh, there's lace around that and one of my resin flowers that I made. I painted pink. And then this last one. Also smaller one with uh, the stickers around the edge and one of my resin pieces and a little feather sticking out of there. So that's um, those are my embellishments. Nope. See I had them like this because some of them Nope, I had it like this. And I had to put them in there so they close. <sighs> with no issues yeah, like that and I made some bows I just got out my bigger fork I have two forks um, that I used to make um, I, I don't know what's what happened with my forks in the house but at one point I was always coming up with like two or three forks like where are my forks going to and um, so I said I got to buy forks I, I, I've got you know had to buy some but I got some and so anyway before that I swiped one and brought it here uh, to use some for little for making bows, and then I, I went to the thrift store and I saw this gigantic, huge fork that I use for bigger bows. And this is the fork I used to make these bows. I used a regular, uh, another small fork to make the smaller bows, but that's the bow I used to make those uh, ribbons or uh, fork I used to make those bows. Okay, here's some. Uh, paper clips and I painted these and again they're just for her to decorate or embellish herself and so it's three of each color a uh, little wide one and small skinny one and I painted white pink and gold like I said these are basically so she can alter her own paper clips I'm getting frame and then I put in some teeny tiny little uh, clothespins. That's the paper clips. Make clothespins. And that is that. So I hope she like it um, because, like I said, when I make these embellishment boxes, I don't put embellishments in it where I, you know, have or made or store bought or whatever. I make embellishment boxes so you can make your own embellishments. Um, like this what they hear I mean she can add some to it like she can add flowers to it or whatever um, but it's basically you know something she can use I mean she, 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 do, she don't have to do anything to it she can just use it on something like on in front of a mini album or whatever um, so yeah so these is this is my um, embellishment box for the swap with Tiffany Russell um, at Nittany Crafts um, on YouTube I hope she likes it um I uh, pre-recorded this video, so I'm not gonna post it until she gets her. Um, this video has is not posted until I send it off. I don't want her to see the video before she gets it. Okay, I can't get this back in here. Let's do it this way because I had I put all that in and then I put those in, put that in, and then I put the dominoes in. Okay, and then it goes there. Okay. And so there's my uh, swap for um, uh, the best box with Tiffany Russell. Again, at Nittany Crafts on YouTube. I hope she likes it. And I hope y'all like it. Um, and like I said, I got this shaker element idea from uh, another YouTuber uh, called Mariposa. And I might do a video on how I did that, uh, how I did the shaker in there. But 
there you go guys uh, again hope you like it thank you for liking and watching my channel please